So you can see right here, I have flipper zero on the left. And what I'm gonna do now is I've selected evil portal. I'll go ahead and start it up. And you can see right here, we have the light indicating it's turned on. You can see on the right, okay, there is a LOI network right here that we can connect over into. I select onto it. I'm connecting right now, no password required, and there's a sign in. It's a sign in to the network, I clicked on it. Boom, this is a fake Facebook page trying to fish for email and password. I go ahead and enter, say hacker loy at say gmail.com. And then the password, all right, handsome, loy. All right, I click sign in, boom. Let's see on the left what we get. Right here, you can see the following results. There you go. You see it right here. We got the email, we got a password, we're in, it's game over. Now, before we go any further, remember, hacking is illegal, even if your mom says so. Even if your mom agrees to let you do hacking, don't do it. It's, it's too dangerous, too risky, and if you go to jail, don't tell them you know Mr. Hackaloy. So in this tutorial, there'll be five steps that we'll be going through. Number one is we need to plug in the Wi-Fi dev board and update the firmware so that it works and once you have that, you install this app to your Flipper Zero so that you have the module available to execute and run on it. But before we do that, we need to download a login page and we have lots of choices from there. And the one I was showing you earlier was the one from Facebook. And finally, we have the scan access points within the vicinity because we need to copy one of those access points and set up a fake Wi-Fi network which will automatically pop up to help us collect through the username and password view from the evil portal. So the first thing we need to do is head over to GitHub under Uber Guido Z Flipper. And once you're here, you can see we're on FZ Marauder Flasher. So once you scroll down further, all right, you need to download this part so that we can automatically flash Marauder, okay? So we'll be using option number one, which is the no SD mod. And once you have it, just download and extract the zip file over here. You download this and then plug in the Wi-Fi dev bot over to your machine and you're ready to go. And you can see right here, we have downloaded the file and I've extracted the file. You can double click onto it to open it up. And once you open it up, you can see the following. And the one we just need to double click to execute on is gonna be flash.bat. So you can see right here, I have flipper zero. And what I'm gonna do is I have the Wi-Fi dev bot right here, okay? And all I have to do is to click onto the boot button over here, or I click onto it, you see a clicking sound. And after which you plug this right in, which is the USB to your PC, because you wanna flash it, okay? Okay, done. All right, so once you have that, we can head back over to the computer. Okay, now that it's plugged in, all I need to do is just double click on the flash.bat, click run. Okay, so you can see right here, this is the one that I got. All right, so we'll be selecting option number one, which is the flash Marauder, hit enter on that. And I give it about a minute or so. You can see the following updates to it. And then once it's done, we'll be ready to use it alongside with our Flipper Zero. And then we can do the Ever portal or any form of other attacks that's available for it. So it's just about setting this up once and then you're ready to use the Wi-Fi dev board. Okay, that's it, done. So you may now close this window or press any key to exit. So this is it. You can see right here that I have already turned on the Flipper Zero. But the thing is that it doesn't work out of the box without the application. So we need to get the application into Flipper Zero. And what I need you to do next is head over to this website called lab.flipper.net. And once you're here, just go ahead and plug in your Flipper Zero to your PC. Click on to connect. All right, select onto the one over here. Okay, so click connect onto it and you're done. Okay, so this is the tool that we'll be using to help us install onto it. So you go under apps on the left and you search for Marauder. All right, and you can see the following of ESP32 Wi-Fi Marauder. This is the one that we're going after. Click onto it and you can see right here, I have already installed it. Okay, just click onto the install button and you are good to go. Hey, you know what? I'm going to do it for you. I'll click on to delete. I'll delete onto this app. 
Okay, done. So I have deleted it now. Now I hit the refresh button and I do a search again for Marauder. Click onto it. Now I click onto install. Perfect, done. It's installed right now, so we're good to go. Now getting the screen mirror is so good on Q Flipper. Okay, so what I wanna show you here is we expand onto the interface that is being mirrored over here. I go over into apps, all right, you select onto apps, you go to GPIO, and here you got it. This is Wi-Fi Marauder, so go ahead and click onto it. It's loading right now, and this is the place where great things happen. Okay, so what you want to do, the first thing you want to do right, is to scan. But before we scan, we need to upload the file, the index.html, which is the login page that will help us capture the username and password. Now, this is a interesting site because it is Flipper Zero Ever Portal, and there are a bunch of index.html that we can get it from. So perhaps the person is at a hotel lounge, they're at the airport or whichever, okay? And we have all this fake login pages that we can download and be able to run them directly through the evil portal. So go ahead and download one of it. So you can see right here, I have downloaded one of them. So this is the one for Facebook login. You can get any of the others. And of course, if you have the email as well as the password, you click sign in, we'll be able to lock it down inside Flipper Zero. Now going back to Q Flipper with the screen mirror, you can see right here with SD card, apps underscore data, Marauder HTML, and with the index.html over here, you can upload it. Okay, maybe you want something else, you can just go ahead and upload it. You can have a list of them, a bunch of them. So for my end, I can do a right click. I can click upload here. You can select onto index.html. And then this is where we get it. Okay, we have uploaded, we replaced the file, so we're good to go. Now the next thing we need to do is to scan for access points within the vicinity. All right, so let's go ahead and click onto that. And you can see right here, we're scanning right now. Okay, so you can see we detect a LOI network, so that's pretty good, and that's good enough for me, because that's the one that we'll be targeting. Okay, so let me go back. And once we have that, I can hit over to list, and I can select onto it, you can see right here, we have Loy Network, which is one, and we're targeting this one. Okay, so I go back, and I select onto the AP, and I enter the following over here. Okay, I hit one, and then I go to save. Okay, so once it saves the following, if one selected, all right, we're good to go. So I can go back over here now, and the next thing I want to do is to head over into the load evil portal HTML file. So let's go ahead and select onto this one. And this is the index file, okay? Select onto it, setting HTML from zero, done. Okay, so we're good to go now. So now if I head back over to this one over here, which is the key feature to start it all up, evil portal, select onto it, you can see right here, it is starting up right now. It's up and running and we're ready to rock and roll. So now if I hit over into my phone over here, let me go ahead and try to connect to the Wi-Fi, okay? So I'm turning on the Wi-Fi right now. I'm gonna show you in a second, okay? So you can see right here, we have the following LOI network that's available, sign in as required. I select onto it, all right, you can see right here as well. Okay, we're connecting. Sign in to the network. Let me go in and click onto it. I sign in the network. You can see right here now we got the login page. Okay, so I just have to enter the email. All right, of hacker loy. Okay, say at gmail.com, that one that was showing you earlier. And then I got a password as a password. Okay, I click sign in. You can see right now, I've signed in, all right? On the left, you can see right here, we got hackerlaw at gmail.com and a password of password. So that's it, it's game over. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, once again, I wanna say that this is really for us to learn about cybersecurity, pushing the frontiers of security. So please do not try this on your neighbors and your friends and your peers and your colleagues and your coworkers. Keep it to yourself, learn it yourself, know that it works, think about how to make the world a more secure place. So see you next time.